Hello, my name is Beth, and in this video I want to show you the new features of our dictation workflow solution, Philips SpeechExec Enterprise version 7. This new version will take the speech recognition workload in an enterprise environment to the next level. SpeechExec Enterprise now supports state-of-the-art speech recognition technology. By using the Nuance Speech Kit, it allows you to outsource the speech recognition process to a dedicated server to run on-premise in the company's environment or connected to the speech recognition cloud. In this way, you don't have to install any speech recognition software in your local environment. Now, let's have a look at the use cases starting with front-end speech recognition. In this case, you start a new recording in SpeechExec Enterprise Dictate, perhaps by clicking the record button on your Philips speech mic. Audio is then streamed to the speech recognition server and the text will appear immediately in the speech recognition recorder window in SpeechExec Enterprise. At the end of the recording, you will receive a text document and an audio file, which can be sent to the transcriptionist for correction or can simply be archived. Now, let's see what this looks like in reality. So what you can see here is Speech Exec Enterprise Dictate. As you can see, I have connected a Philips Speech One headset and now I'm clicking the record button on the Speech One remote control. Now I can start a speech recognition recording immediately and can select one of my predefined templates. I'm clicking the record button on the device again. I'm now connected to the speech recognition cloud and as you can see, speech recognition works in real time, even if the speech recognition is outsourced to a server. I stop the recording by clicking the record button again and now I can choose if I'm going to finish the recording, which means that I've done the correction myself or I can send it for correction. So I'm clicking the send for correction button. As you can see, the dictation file appears in the work list with the state correction pending. This means that the typist can open the audio file and the document in SpeechExec Enterprise Transcribe and make any corrections. Now let's talk about a second use case, which is known as back-end speech recognition. If you are creating recordings using a mobile dictation device like a Philips Pocket Memo, Philips Speech Air, or with the Philips Voice Recorder app on your smartphone, you can send your files to the Philips SpeechExec Enterprise Speech Recognition Service. This is running somewhere in the background processing the files via the Nuance server and attaching the resulting document and audio file. Now let's get back to my virtual machine, where I have connected my Philips Pocket Memo via USB to download the file for back-end speech recognition. After the download is finished, the file is shown in the work list with the state transcription pending. After a few seconds, you can see that the state has changed to transcription in progress, which means that the file has been picked up automatically by the speech recognition server to process the file in the background. You don't need to start Speech Exec Enterprise Dictate for back-end speech recognition. This was just to demonstrate the process in real time. The speech recognition server itself is running as a Windows service in the background and is usually installed on a dedicated server. As you can see, the state of the file has just changed to correction pending, which means that the speech recognition process has been completed and the document with the recognised text has been attached to the audio file. But what about speech recognition in third-party applications like Microsoft Word or Outlook? If you want to use speech recognition outside of the SpeechExec Enterprise infrastructure, just install the Nuance standalone application for Dragon Professional Anywhere which is included in the SpeechExec Enterprise Plus package. This software is using the same technology as SpeechExec Enterprise, connecting to the same speech recognition server, which means that you can use the same microphone and the same user profile and the same vocabulary as with SpeechExec Enterprise. I'm now switching back to my virtual machine where I close SpeechExec Enterprise and open Dragon Professional Anywhere.
I then log in with my username and password, confirm my input device, language and vocabulary, and now I can use speech recognition in any application. For the demo, I'll open WordPad. I start speech recognition by pressing the record button on the device. Now the spoken words appear in the document. Full stop. New paragraph. But please consider, comma, that with the Dragon standalone product, comma, you will not get an audio file and cannot use it for processing files which come from mobile dictation devices. For all dictation workflow scenarios, you'll need to use Philips Speech Exec Enterprise. For more information or to book in for an online demonstration, call Speak IT today on 0121 456 7800.